Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 Login in the Mountain Map Tour. Now this map is obviously all about logging. There is no agriculture. It's all about the login. Now I brought you over to the highest point. You see there's the map there. We're at that point there. You've got the sawmill and then you've got another um, area where you can have pl your placeables. It, it has got a huge forest as you can see. Obviously the trees over there, they're not zoomed in because it's too far away. But it means you can see the contour of the land. And you can see it is all over the shop. Very hilly terrain. There's a, there is a perimeter track what goes all the way around the perimeter and then you have got some other tracks which lead to these other ones but the easiest way to get around is around the edge if you need to get anywhere specific but obviously the sawmill is in the middle as well so a little bit different now you can see we have you've got the two lines there where we have got a couple of waterfalls the one you can see just in the distance over there and I think the other ones right over there you can't no you might be able to see it over this side if we can get up there no you're not going to be able to you can only see that bit there but we're going to have a look at that on the way around so starting off let's have a look at what equipment you get and this is on new farmer now you get a favorite Voltra lizard pickup then you get a trailer a chipper a log carrier and a stump grinder and you've got hardly any slots look at that that's amazing 346 slots I know it's not a big map but there's a you can have anything you want you don't have to worry about slots on this map um, you start off with a hundred thousand pounds so that, that is the equipment there is no placeables you don't have any placeables at the moment we go into the prices and you can see all it is is the prices for wood chips that is your lot then we go to the map and this is the area you start off and own which is worth a million pounds just over a million forty eight thousand now some of the other areas there that one's like 1 1.9 million and then that one's 1 1.4 million and that bit's 1.5 million then 1.8 million and you're like wow that's loads of money for all that and then you've got that bit there which is 232,000 and then you've got that bit there which is 14 grand so that'll be your next start after after clearing that out I think it'll be 14 grand but I do like the way it clears out this it gives you this first bit which clears out all the central bit so you can do a bit more with this area if you need to or if you want to it's uh, yeah pretty cool so obviously we've got nothing to harvest or any of that because there is nothing there is no agriculture it's all about the logging So yeah, we've got a good bird's eye view where you can see exactly the contours of the map. There's a huge amount of trees and they are large trees. I think they're all spruces. So they are quite large trees. Well, they're huge. I haven't seen any smaller juvenile ones. Right, so let's head down to the, let's get the map on. We first of all got the shop. Now there are a few tracks, there's two main tracks running through. So we've got our gas or fuel station just there. So you don't need to buy any mods for fuel. And there's the shop buy point. And here's your shop customization.
Now you've got a track that goes off that way and that goes right the way around but I think we'll go up on the the main track first so the track comes round you go up to right to the sawmill left to your other area this is where there is a house down here uh, I, well you can't sleep in here I don't think it didn't say you're tired when you went up to the door anyway so you've got this placeable area and with a bit of your equipment sat there ready for work let's take the fence let's hook it all up Right, so there's not a huge amount to see on this map, obviously, apart from lots of trees. But it is nice, the terrain isn't flat, it is all over the place, it is on a complete hillside, basically. I don't think there is any of the flat areas apart from where the place balls are. And I should have probably had the bigger tractor. We'd, we'll swap over when we get to the top. I think this one's only 150 horsepower. But the trees are in lines as well, so you can actually pass through. Where I know some of these woods, um, some of the forests you go through, there's just so many trees, it's so dense. Where this one you can do a shortcut, you can cut through, it's not a big issue. There is a lot of trees, but there's still a clear way. And we come up to the wood uh, sawmill, not wood mill, sawmill. And we've got a roundabout situation going on. So you can go in and come back out, which is what you want for logging. And then this reversing around, about. Right, don't know what that says. Sawmill. So here we are at the sawmill, and this is where your other pieces of equipment are as well. Where we've got the Jens chipper, a trailer, and we'll take the Vultra. There we go. So, yeah, the. Oh, zoom that back out. So, the sawmill is right in the middle. I don't think there was any tracks coming off right off the sawmill. There was another track down this way over here. Where's it gone? There it is. So let's go and take it a look down here. And then this brings you out to the edge of the map. Well, they got some boats going on. Oh, dude, we go around the perimeter. As soon as we need another track, we we'll jump on it because it is. It doesn't look very big map, but it is quite big, really. By the time you gone all the way around you see the contour of the the land it is up and down it put that John Deere with the uh, low ratio gearbox to uh, the test on this one and Grizzly Mountain that'll be another one good one for it but yeah I do love these contours it's up and down all over the place 
Whoa, there's a tree there though. We just missed the waterfall actually. There it is, just there. There's one on this side of the map and there's one on the other side of the map. Which is why I didn't understand why there was boats. Coming towards that way. I think they oh are they at the bottom. You can see we're up so high here. Then it drops back down again. You can see through like that was the sawmill you could see through it too. And then you've got the other placeable area there. Then that takes you round to the um well that where that monument is on top of the hill. It's just gonna start loading in now, there it is. So we are a quarter of the way round. Then there is a track, which is the perimeter one. There it is, straight over. Well, you see how many trees there is, thousands of trees in here. If you like your logging, there's plenty to be getting on with in this one. You can do uh, terraforming as well, so you can do your landscape. I did have a go, I didn't have much money on it, but you can make it larger. So if you want to put some flatter areas or change the landscape, you can do. You can do whatever you want, as soon as you got rid of these trees. I'd love to know how many trees there is, because there is a loads. Let's just go through and have a look down. And you can see it's just trees on trees and trees which what do you expect on a logging map really but if you want to detour zoom in a bit and drive through the trees you can do every now and again you might get a little bit stuck but you'll always find your way out it's not that it is dense but check how steep this is coming down here let's go around the rock crazy terrain and yeah this is one of those little tracks there's a few dotted around There's only a couple of tracks what go through, but they don't show up on the map, so you've got to actually find them. Well, this one takes it back round to where we were, and then if we go up, back out to the edge of the map, and back down again. crazy terrain and then back up again so now we're just going nearly all the way around but here you've got the road what goes off We've got the track which goes it back into the forest. Yeah, it brings us back out onto that same track again. So it is like a maze never-ending trees I 
you can see the other waterfall. And yep, we're down again, and then we're up again. The train's awesome, I love it. Pretty cool. I haven't really found anything else with the map it's just lots of trees two placeables areas well one placeable area and that's about your lot it's just get on with it cutting those trees clear a path through and get on with it and we're going back down Yeah, and that, that road there will take you back into the sawmill. So we have got a few roads that are just hard to see. I suppose they're not roads, they're just tracks, aren't they? Just a dirt track. But a lot of modification you can do on this one. It's a blank canvas with loads of trees. And very hilly. interesting to see this with no trees somebody must have done it somebody must do it clear out every tree must take weeks I'm back round to the other waterfall again so yeah that is about it for the map there isn't a lot more to see really apart from lots of trees we we'll drive back through towards our placeable area no sorry that is the sawmill isn't it back to the sawmill so not a huge map but lots of lots of trees all in all it is a nice looking map it's a nice map not much to it but this main building, pretty smart. Well, this is all new. I haven't seen all this stuff before. This hasn't been copied and pasted. Or it might come off the... Another game, I don't know, but it looks nice. Can't get in anywhere, though. Ladder. A ladder that works. But I can't get on the roof. Not that I want to get on the roof, anyway. So yeah, that's your lot really. Not much to it. One big map, lots of trees. Get cut in, away you go. Like that area there, what you own from the start on New Farmer, that's going to take uh, a while just to clear that alone, so. Right there, well, if you've enjoyed the map tour, how short and sweet it is really then uh, please give me a like and if you want to see more content then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so thanks for watching till the next time goodbye